All right, for today's video, we'll be naming uh, nomenclature and organic compounds with also bond line structures. So the first thing we want to know is uh, the names for all of them, right? So if we have um, one carbon, if we would have four hydrogens, this would be called methane. Methane. If we have two carbons, we would have a total of six hydrogens. Uh, this would be called ethane. Ethane. Okay. So keep in mind the uh, the prefix and the suffix. Right. We'll get to that later. If we have three carbons, three carbons, we would have eight hydrogens, and this would be called propane. Okay. Propane. Uh, memorizing these words are very important for naming these compounds. If we have four carbons, we would have uh, 10 hydrogens. This would be called butane. Butane. Now, if we have five carbons, we would have 12 hydrogens. This would be called pentane. Pentane. If we have six carbons, we would have 14 hydrogens. And this would be called hexane, hexane, like hexagon having six sides. So it's easy to remember. If we have seven carbons, we would have a total of 16 hydrogens, okay? And these are for the simple nins, okay? So you just got to remember, the, not to memorize the hydrogens, but you can remember how many carbons there is, and then you can know, you can name the, uh, the compounds. So this would be called heptane, heptane. Now, if we have eight carbons, we would have a total of 18 hydrogens, right? And this would be called octane. Octane. If we have nine carbons, this would be called nonane. And if we have 10 carbons, this would be called decane, right? Decane. Okay, so now we know that, for example, for the first one, we have methane, right? So keep in mind that meth would be would mean one, right? Ane would mean a single bond, right? So it's just a line, a single bond, right? F would mean two, and ane would be just mean single bond, right? So all of them has ane, 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 right? That's the ending of the word, and so these would have only a single bond, right? So, for example, if I had this, oh, let's see, no, like this, let's see what it is. Okay, okay. If I had this, So I only have one carbon, right? What would this name of the structure would be? It has one carbon, so going back to that list, it would be called methane, right? For having only one carbon, right? Right? So pretty simple, right? Methane. It would be called methane. Now, here's another example. Say I had... This, 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 and this, right? How many hydrogens would you know how to put, right? So and for the first one, it's only a single bond. So hydrogen can have only four bonds, so you would add three more, three more hydrogens to make it four bonds, right? Second one, the middle one, it has one test already has two bonds. So you just add two more hydrogens to make it four, right? Now the last one, very last, it would have, it already has one bond. Now you just need to add three more to make it four. So this name, as you can see, it has, one, two, three, three carbons, right? And we said three carbons is what? It's called what? It's called propane. Propane. All right, so yes. And this, by the way, this is a condensed structure version of the Lewis structure, right? So now we are finally able to name these structures. All right, 
And so now that was for single bonds, right? If I had so a single bond had the ending of ain, right? Ain mean means a single bond. Single bond. So just a straight line, right? Just a straight line. Well, it's too big, isn't it? Just a straight line, right? Now if I had at the ending it was E N E E. This would be called a double bond, right? This would be this would mean a double bond. A double bond. So meaning two lines. One, two. And there's one more, right? If the if the ending had a Y and E at the end, right? This would be called a triple triple bond. This would have three lines. One, two, and three, right? So for example, let me show you something. If we had two carbons right, attached to a double bond, okay, hydrogen's on the side, right, so we said two carbons, two carbons, we have two carbons, would be called ethane, right, ethane, but since there's a double bond right down the middle, let's keep the, the prefix F and just add the E and E, F E. Meaning it's a double bond, a double bond, right? So that's all, really. Now, if we have the same thing, let's do the same thing for ethene. If we had a triple bond, right? A triple bond right down. So we know two carbons, it's F, ethane, right? F the prefix now we have a triple bond though down the middle so this would be called ethine ethine with that y and e meaning that it has a triple bond so this is the simple version of how to do um, naming compounds and whatnot now if we were looking at a bond line structure we the same thing right so if i had this this and this right how many commas are there so it would just be each side so one, two, three, four, right? Each point, right? Now, we have said four carbons is what? What is the name for four carbons? It's called butane, butane. Now, if I gave another example, I said there's a, a double bond right here on this, Instead of calling it butane, we would call it butene, meaning for a double bond. All right. And so let's give me let me give you another example. Let's see. Actually, as a matter of fact. Now, we get to a different part of the uh, naming of the compounds, a little more difficult part, and this would have to do with the substituents, right? The substituents means it's just at the end of the parent chain, right? So the parent chain is, is the methane, ethane, you know, propane, butane, and all, and all that stuff, right? But then we would get to something called the, uh, the substituents, sub right and these are the end at the end of each each of the uh, parent chain right so for example if I had this right um, if I had this right I'll just make it easy for now I'll go hard. so CH3 and we had CH to it and we had CH three right and then down here we had a ch2 and we had a ch2 and then we had a ch2 and then a ch3 right how would we name this right so the first thing we would do is look at the parent chain parent chain means the longest chain right 
So it's just like a maze, you know? You would go down here like that, you know? Whatever is the longest. So in here, you have to find the longest chain. So it's like an actual chain. If you ever see a necklace, whatever, it's just, you know, something you know, connected, it's long and whatnot. Right? So for here, we just circle the longest chain. So would this be the longest chain right here? No, because it only has three. See, so there's more at the bottom. So longest chain would be this. This would be called the longest chain. Right? Now, what is the name of this? Well, firstly, it has one. Let's see. It has how many carbons? One, two, three, four, five, and six. It has six carbons. Six carbons. So we said that six carbon is called what? It's called hexane. So we know. You know it's called hexane, and we know it has an ane at the end because they're all single bonds, right? So we put that to the side for now. It will be called. It will be called hexane. Hexane. Now we have something, as I said, the substituents, right? Substituents. This would be called the substituents. It's not connected to the parent chain, right? So if you look at a tree, it has branches coming off and branches, you know, going straight in the line. So this would be the branch right here, this long parent chain, and these are to the sides of the branches, you know. So this we see that has one carbon, right? It has one carbon. So we know that the the prefix would be meth, right? Meth. But since it's a substituent, by the rules, you would have to add Y, L to the end, making it called methyl, right? Methyl. This is methyl. Now, where is this methyl connected? Well, it's connected to what? If you look at the, the, the bond, it is connected to the second carbon, right? Second carbon. So now... Does it matter how we name it if I said, because this can be the second carbon, but some people might write it like this. They can say one, two, three, four, five, and six. And some people would call this the fifth carbon, right? But we would have to look for which one would be less, right? Will be the least amount of number. So two is less than five. So we would call we would uh, the red coloring would be the correct numbering for it because two is less than five and so it would be connected to the second second carbon right so we erase the other ones so now it's connected to the second carbon right second and to how we would name this we put it together so we would always put the number first right so two after the number, it would be, if it's the words, it would have a hyphen, right? a hyphen. And then you would add the substituent's names, so would be methyl, right? Methyl. And then you would add the parent chain, would be, you know, it would be hexane, right? Hexane. So the whole name is called 2-methyl hexane.